Will you win or you learn? That's what we were preaching the whole season. Uh, yeah, definitely. That was the that was the theme of the season. I felt like we won a lot, but at the same time, you know, we learned a lot of lessons uh, throughout the season, and especially the players. So, what are those lessons? That you got to put in the work before, you know. Uh, once you get to the moment where you want to be, you know, it's all about the preparation you've put in, the hours you you've clocked in. So it's really like uh, when the moment comes, you have to be ready and you have to be prepared. Okay, and when this moment came during the U19 Final Four, what happened? You know, as far as the final game, I think going into the season, we wanted to be in that position to be successful. Obviously, uh, have a last game in our home gym for a championship. I would say that was a goal, but you want to be put in that position. So, and we were. Uh, and you know, to me, the difference was, I would say, players' mentality. We really, at the end of the day, had one who stepped up when he counted the most. You know, and uh, the opposing team was just ready, and they had multiple people who were, you know, putting up numbers who were ready for the big moment. You know, and I thought that was something we were missing, and that was something you know throughout the season we've kind of. Uh, I don't want to say battle, that would be a strong word, but we had our, our moments where we uh, asked individuals to step up and uh, that's part of their development, you know. Uh, we strive ourselves on being a place where individualities get better and I think uh, some, of the, some of the players are on the right path but not quite sure they're and about uh, those moments. It's your second year uh, in GBA. How you compare those moments, those development uh, to the pre previous one, your first season? Very different ones as far as team. Last year's team, when given a lot of freedom, was really performing to their potential. I would say players led in the sense of uh, we did have our floor general uh, in Jorge there and uh, everybody was kind of surrounded around him and uh, a lot of great shooters so in a sense of you know you give them freedom uh, that team was really really good at it this year's team was maybe lacking like a like a true leadership personality i, I believe like leadership comes in all shapes and forms and uh, we've had some but i i, I feel like you know there was j just one missing piece of the puzzle uh, at the end of the day. When this group, I felt like we had a lot of playmakers or guys who could, you know, create uh, for themselves and others. But the type of, you know, let's say killer mentality, at the end of the day, it really was, you know, maybe one or two people. And the other ones showed glimpses of they can be really, really, really great uh, throughout the season. But uh, as I said, they still hopefully have one year with us and we can develop them truly to their potential. And they're on the right path, but not, not quite there yet. So the final was the player's game? Yeah, I would say, you know, like going into the weekend, uh, it's an exciting time, you know. So all the, all the preparation, all the build up, you enjoy the journey, but you really want to go into that weekend and just have fun. And I feel like, the first game when uh, we had all the time in the world to prepare, go with the with the strategy to that game. I really felt like the semifinal was like probably the best basketball we've played all season. You know, uh, that first half was uh, something to remember. But then the next day, you rely on who you really are, uh, and the true characters come up. There is only so much you can do as a coach. You've had it all season, you know, to prepare for that moment. And I felt like, you know, we did our best. Uh, and I'm not coaching, talking about coaching staff. I'm talking also about players. We win together, we lose together. But the, uh, the finals was all about the players to me. And we've had that moment where we just came back. Uh, one point game, you know, all the momentum on our side. And at the end of the day, we missed two shots. They made two shots. and. Uh, that was the difference. What is in coach's mind uh, during those moments? At that moment where it's really basket for basket, you're just trying to think, okay, where can we put the, or whose hands we can put the ball to, you know, to be successful. What is hurting us on the defensive end? Uh, 
um, so that that would be the next and O's, which you know uh, a lot of people know that I'm all about. That I love to, you know, come up with uh, different ideas how to be successful on offensive and and both defensive. But uh, really, as I said, if it's a player's game, you just you're just trying to come up with the biggest motivation possible, uh, or like like get guys fired up to find that another gear in themselves where you know and push through push through which we obviously didn't you were managing two teams this season yeah. which were part of the men's but some guys were still kids how to like transfer also minds of uh, those players to you know men's games and uh, united's games when i look back at the season in this sense uh, it's, it's it's been a long season it's been quite a journey those who followed us understand that we somehow started with you know almost full men's team but then all the players got the opportunities to move to a let's say better place or or higher division place for them so we gave them a chance and now we ended up with almost like a like a 19 roster with the men's you know so there was a lot of lot of expectations put on those kids i think we succeeded in one thing where they've got a ton of experience, you know, and I think they came closer to understanding what it feels like to be a pro. Uh, and I'm not talking about the like, contracts, but I'm talking about be a pro in his mind, approaching the game the right way, uh, understanding that like whatever you're going to give it the game, the game is going to give you the, uh, the same amount mat, uh, back. You know, so I really feel like we've uh, succeeded there as far as, you know, the next steps guys need to take to be really at the next level. Uh, so that's as far as men's, you know, we've got our lessons there because, you know, playoffs, we faced uh, probably the worst matchup we could have uh, as far as the physicality. You know, that was one thing that we were lacking. Uh, Throughout the season, I, I feel like yeah. position one through four, we really had uh, a lot of the times edge over people. But that that five man position was something that we were lacking, and uh, we learned firsthand that you know basketball. Even though we say it's five out, you know, modern, everybody needs to know everything. You know, at the end of the day, if you ha if you have a really dominant player, then your whole whole you know team concept has to be built around it, and. That's where we kind of struggled in the playoffs with the men's. But looking back at it, you know, I think we've really laid down the basis for hopefully next seasons to come. And from your experience as a player before you became a coach, what do you think, what is like the crucial uh, telling those young guys? When you're a young player, um, you rely so much on your surroundings and it's not even about being a young player just just young kid in general you know uh you rely on your parents so much and i have my kids on my own I and I, I love for them to be kids as long as possible but at the same time you know uh playing a professional teams almost or semi-professional teams with with our youngsters with our kids you know they have to grow up faster you know they have to be responsible uh they have to understand that you know it's the unseen hours is where nobody's watching you know what matters and what counts and really like we are along we are there a long way uh along their journey to kind of help them and push them but now they got to shift it to another gear where it's really them, you know, pushing the envelope, uh, understanding that nobody's going to do it for them but themselves.